Hello and welcome. Today my guest is Nadine King from Christmas Come True. Christmas Come True is a nonprofit organization to lend a helping hand to folks who might be financially strapped during the holiday season and actually provide assistance beyond the holidays. Uh, here to tell us more about that is Nadine King. Hi. Hi. Welcome and thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Of course. Can you give us kind of an overview about what Christmas Come True does, what services that you provide? Sure. Uh, it was founded seven years ago, and what I saw was that there were a tremendous amount of families in Flagler County that were struggling at Christmas time. And so we founded Christmas Come True and started right away with helping as many families as we could by providing them with a complete Christmas dinner, new clothes, toys, and Christmas stockings. That's given to the parents, for the parents to give to their children. So we don't want the kids to know about us. We want the parents to have the dignity and be able to enjoy the day with giving the children a meal that they want, the clothing that they needed, and the toys that the kids really wanted to have for Christmas. Great, so you kind of try to be discreet about the families that you help. Right. For example, you don't necessarily advertise, oh, we help this certain family or that certain family because you want to protect their privacy. Exactly. And I, I think that's that that's really important so that people aren't stigmatized by perhaps that their family needed help one year because right. that can happen to anybody, really. Most families in this area, I believe, are about two paychecks away from being homeless or being in the same situations that the families that we have helped in the past are in or have been in. How did you uh, come up with the idea to do this? I mean, Actually, back in the 80s, uh, I was in the restaurant business and a girlfriend and I realized that there were a lot of families in Virginia, in the area that I lived in, that needed assistance and so we actually came up with this. We did that for several years until I moved up north and I've always wanted to resume helping the families and so when we came down here and moved in permanently I saw everything falling apart in 2008-2009 sure. and I thought this is this is the time that I'm meant to do this. So it is a it's a calling from God that um, he's asked me to give of myself and my time and my energies to helping these families and being thankful that my family does not have that situation. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what some of your plans for the future are? I mean, right now you're kind of focused on the holidays. Am, am, am I right about that? You're yes. focused, but mm -hmm. you, I, I thought given a previous conversation that you and I had, that you're actually trying to provide more services maybe during the year. Yes, definitely. Um, we do, we have provided, like this past year, we provided 112 families with uh, the dinner and, and clothing and the toys and the Christmas stockings. We also had a family that I had known about for a year that were in a motel room. So you had three children mom and dad in a motel room for three years because they just couldn't get the money that it costs for deposits, your utilities, your sure, yeah. security deposits, just getting the things that you needed. And because they didn't have furniture, they had had to have lost their furniture, uh, they didn't have any furniture. So there's no financial way that they could get themselves above where they were and so we actually, I was talking to a woman who was helping me with the, the gifts, purchasing the gifts and all, and she and her husband had a home, and so they actually put this family into their home. Oh, we paid the great. deposits, and we had a lot of people donate furniture for them, and so we ended up being able to get them into a home by Christmas. So on Christmas Eve, they were all there and to oh, me that's, that's a very that makes my christmas come true that really is wonderful since then um this past sunday on valentine's day we actually 
put a family, a mom, a single mom with three children into a, a apartment as well. So now we have two families in the matter of a month that we've, or two months that we've actually gotten into homes. So our, our future uh, is to expand on putting families into homes, changing their lives, changing the children's lives, and also uh, working with parents and children with a scholarship for their um, problems that they have with education, with math and English and all of those. So we have a school that we're going to be working with, Integral Math, which okay. is just set up in Portsmouth, uh, I'm sorry, Palm Coast. Oh, yeah. And okay. Palm Coast. And they have a wonderful program of math, English, and some other subjects that they're expanding on. And so we're going to actually be working with them for scholarships. And, and are they taking in the students at maybe a, a discounted rate? They will or be something? taking them in at a discounted rate. Yeah, that's good. So and that. helping the parents learn how to how right. to deal with the math and also the children. So well, I think that's really exciting. And I've heard you say we a few times, so that leads me to believe you have some volunteers that are helping you yeah. out. And, uh, I have some pretty wonderful volunteers. Oh, Joyce has been with me for now over four years. And then I've got, we call them Kim 1 and Kim 2 and mm -hmm. Karen and Joanne and Lori. They're all people that are kind of behind the scenes that are in my office or work out of their home. They, Lori buys gifts for the children, especially teenagers. People don't like to buy for teenagers. Well, it's tough. They I, love buying for little children. I can't even buy stuff for my wife because I just have no idea. So, I mean, I, 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 I get it. Yeah, that's yeah, hard to yeah. buy. So we do. We go out and we buy things that we know are pretty uniform throughout the year as far as children go. And, and it's not uh, all like socks and uh no, Close. no, you get, you, she they buys get good, really cool, cool toys things. too. Yeah, we good. know. Yeah. I, you know, being doing this as much as we have, we've we've uh, provided seventeen hundred and five children with Christmas in the last seven years. Say that number again. Seventeen hundred and five children since since two thousand nine. Wow, that's so, great. So seven years. Uh, it, I'm amazed. So, I had never really looked at the statistics until this year, and then I was like, oh, my God, we've helped almost 600 families. So you have financial contributors as well, and uh, you're a 501c3. Yes. So any contributions made to your organization are tax deductible. Right. Which is, exactly. you know, which, which helps the, pe the contributors as well. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. People and, are much more willing to be able to give their furniture or their house sure, yeah. which is what we are starting to collect now is people's furniture so it's not just um, cash housewares. it's it's actual right. there things are a as lot well. of different ways that people can help us you can help us by donating your furniture or donating your housewares donating your time you can help in me simple ways by just going on Facebook and going to Christmas come true and liking the page and then sharing the information that we have. If I had a couple thousand people all getting on Facebook, liking the page and sharing the information that we sure. give on a daily basis, that would help us tremendously get the word out there to other people. Well, let's talk about that specifically. If, if somebody wants to say they want to donate their estate in the future in their will or they want to make a cash donation, what is the most efficient way for them to contact you? Is it a website or a phone number or both? Or I have a couple. I have an office phone number, and that's uh, 302-1290. So that's 386-302-1290. Or my cell phone number, which is 386-569-4429. Or they can contact me at Christmas Come True dot org which is my website or again they can go to facebook and go to christmas come true inc inc and they can contact me through private messaging or right on on the page as well okay great and we'll be sure and and uh put that contact information up okay. over this so people can thank you easily access it how do you find the people that you help i mean 
there must be a process you go to so because you got to protect yourself against maybe being scammed or people that really don't need the help but I'm sure you have a process that you go through to find the people who really need your assistance. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. When I started this, the first thing I did is I went to student services of Flagler County and sat down with them and asked them, how do they find their families? How do I get in contact with these families so that I can get their personal information, that it's confidential, and that um, I can make sure that, or try to make sure that people are not taking advantage of this organization or this organization or the school system. Sure, yeah. And so what I did was, um, we we actually get names of the of the families, and those are earmarked earmarked for Christmas come true. And so that means that they will not give that same name out to another group or another organization. Okay. They know that we give that customized Christmas dinner, the toys, the clothes, the necessities. They know that we give that whole package. So they don't give my name or th that family's name out to anyone right, else. Right, so there's not a duplication of services. Right, right. exactly. Well, you mentioned student services as, as, as kind of a partners of yours. Are, are there any other agencies that you partner up with or are you well I've worked with social services they've called me and told me of Is some that Fl dilemmas. County? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And also if it's a personal thing you might know of a next door neighbor that just lost their job that can't sure. do Christmas yeah. that can't give their children anything and I would take those names and then what I do is I call up the school and tell the school okay I've got this family do they do they have any help coming to them? No. Okay, then I will take them, and I will provide everything that they need. Okay, great. So, yeah. or try to provide everything that they need. Sure. So we we do we try to. Uh, it's a it's a long complicated system, <laughs> but we also work with Publix, at the new the new Publix in the new shopping center, um, Is that... Island Walk. Okay. And okay, sure. they are incredible. We actually give them a spreadsheet. So we ask the parents how many people are going to be there for Christmas dinner, what are the vegetables they want, what are the things that they enjoy, and we give right down to Christmas cookie dough for Christmas Eve. Well, that's, that's nice so that you find out what the kids want so they don't like have a big plate of used. spinach and liver yeah. in front of them. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. Yeah. So we know what vegetables they eat. We know what yeah. pie they want. We know whether they want whipped cream or not. What are they allergic to? Is there a baby coming in the family? What kind of formula do you need? What kind of diapers do you need? And you probably go through the same thing as far as if you're buying gifts. You kind of dial it in what, what they color? would like. Yeah, yeah. Do they like sure. stripes? Do they like plaids? Do they like sure. plain? Do they need uniforms? We try to give uniforms, but then if we give a uniform, we also try to get them a blouse and a pair of pants or a shirt and a pair of pants. If they really desperately need shoes, we give them shoes, socks, underwear, right down to what kind of underwear do they wear? Because right. children are not going to wear a boxer underwear if they want briefs. And so uh, we exactly. Try to do that. Yeah, we all have our own preferences. Exactly. On that, so. so everything we try to be, it's as if we are a personal shopper for those parents that can't afford. Right. And, and I, then everything is wrapped. Have you had experiences where you help the family because you've been doing this for a while now? Seven. That uh, that you've had a family that you helped that like years later when they were on top and caught up and they come back to you and say hey man I wanna yes I wanna pay it yes. forward or pay it back or I, I wanna I wanna mm -hmm. help you help someone like you helped me yes have you had I have oh, I've great. had families that have actually well that's a great thing given uh, you know that and given back yes well you know I've, I've kinda come to the end of the list of questions that I had for you is there a is there anything that you'd like to say to anyone watching this? Uh, is there anything that I missed that you'd like to talk Just about? Just events, how we, how we raise our money. Other than going around every day and saying, please, I need your help, I also have different events that come up, golf tournaments, charity balls, uh, 
poker runs. Oh, yeah, we've right, done right. We've done Bonko at my office. We've done concerts. I just recently had a, a wonderful concert at my office, and we had over 60 people oh, there. Oh, fantastic. And uh, it was just an incredible evening. So there's lots of ways that we raise money. I have a new Christmas jar campaign, which is going into its second year. And that's just as simple as you taking a Christmas jar and putting it on your counter and being able to just drop your change. Got an extra one? You pull out your ones. You got a one. Throw the one in there once in a while. Sure. And it is amazing how quickly you can save money that way. And then that is given to a family. So that could buy... That could buy a gift card for a family for their food, their gas, whatever it is that they are in need of at that particular time. We now will have the ability to give them that additional help that will help them go through the month of December or January. So what is the best way to, because uh, this show might be dated, so I don't want to, want to really mention any individual events that you're hosting right now, so it's, it, I, it's not dated. So how do people find out what events are coming up? What's the best way? They can go to my website at christmascometrue.org or, okay. or the Facebook page. Again, that's where we are promoting things that we're doing every day. And the two are linked. So if someone yes. goes to your website, they can click on the Facebook on the icon Facebook. Yes. and get right to you. That probably vice versa too. Right, I'm guessing. exactly. So, well, that's excellent. Hey, I've learned a lot today. I really appreciate you taking the time to come onto the show. And uh, I hope that this does some good. I think you're doing good work out there. Thank you. And uh, thanks again. Thank you. I really appreciate you. All right. Having me on. Uh, my pleasure. Hey, we'll be right back, folks.